hey guys this is Jahid welcome to another video so in this video we are going to talk about the new Vue.js composition API so in other words we're just going to talk about Vue 3 and how you can start with Vue 3 so this video is created for those guys who are already familiar with Vue 2 and have some experience using it otherwise if you don't know Vue.js uh, in 2.0 then you wouldn't be able to uh, keep up with this one so my recommendation would be to uh, if you don't know view 2 then uh, you start with view 2 and then uh, continue this video so first uh, let's open the documentation of Vue.js and let's see uh, where we are at some of you might know that first in view 2 what you used to use is a options api so in options api we used to write codes in a declarative way what what that means so let me just open up my website because it is created in view 2 so i'll just show you so in the index thing you can see there is a template inside template all our layout uh, html would go inside template and then we have a script inside script we have we have a default uh, SFC and in that we have components async data data and all those things and then we at last we have styles so that's how uh, we use to create component in view 2 but in view 3 we can still use that but they have also added an awesome feature called composition API so in composition API you don't need to use this context you can create reactive variable from their utility functions so let me open it up and show it to you so if you go to docs and then guide and if you search here api preferences so options api is by default selected let me tell you why because option api is is the core feature why people like vue.js more than react so this is the option api is the reason behind that but composition api is where you get the flexibility of reusing uh, functions reusing utilities and all so options api is very nice very good for a new beginner but once the project grows you need to uh, outsource all those business logic all those component logic to different uh, files that's where composition api comes in and saves your day so let's uh, start let's start and see what changes we are seeing right now so let's see option api and composition api in action so i will show you two examples one is created using options api and then the other one would be created using composition api and then you will get to know why we need composition api so first i uh, in vue.js documentation we can see there is a SFC as in symbol, a single file components so in single file component I already showed you we have scripts then we have templates where all our layout and HTML codes goes and then we have a style and inside composition inside sorry inside options API you can see uh, we just simply uh, export a module inside that to use any reactive variable you just need to mention that variable inside of the data object so inside data you are just returning an object and inside that you are writing the variable right and then view is doing its magic and then making it reactive but in composition api uh, what you can do it, uh, you can use your normal variable declaration and then on top of that you can use a utility function and then your variable would become reactive so let's see let's see what is going on here so as you can see this code will result to something like this in top so you can click on count button and then it would increment the value the value of the count variable the count is set to zero and then once you click on it it will uh, make it increment and now let's see the same code created using composition api so i'm going to scroll down a little bit because here is uh, it 
it will be there in somewhere let me just yeah so in composition api you can see there are little bit of change there is no module you are exporting see you are not exporting anything instead what you are doing you are creating a variable like you used to do in javascript but here is the awesome part now you are not giving the value as a raw value but you are giving it inside a ref a function now what is this ref function this ref function make the the value of this variable reactive what i mean by reactive reactive means once you change the value uh, inside your ui it would reflect the same in your variable so you can see we are not using any declarative way we are using normal raw functional of uh, variable declaration and it is working but how so this ref making the count variable reactive and that we use the count to uh, show the value but now you can see we can also use the function normal raw function inside our template but in view in view 2.0 in option api there was not any option to use that and now let's see the increment it is a very interesting part so let's go to the increment so in inside increment you can see we are using count dot value plus plus so what this dot value is coming from as i told you the count variable the ref is making the count variable reactive so if you want to use the value of the count variable then you need to call dot value because you know it has the other properties as well so what you are doing you are incrementing the value uh, from your normal function so what's the benefit you are getting here so if you if you see here this is more of a boilerplate code right you can see more boilerplate code than the options api option api is very easy you just create export default and then you mention your data and then you just uh, mention your variable name and then you can use it in your template but here we need to do a lot of thing we need to import ref and then we can we need to create the variable and then to uh, change the variable value we need to call value these are a little bit of more step isn't it so the the benefit you will get when you have let's say uh, your uh, this is a component a and then there is a component b as well so the component a has this function called increment and then the component b also has this comp uh, uh, function called increment now you want to ch you want to use these both in the same function now how can i how can you do it in view 2 you can you have to create a mix ins and then inside that mix ins you have to mention uh, in options a uh, declarative way but here what you need to do you can just create a, a module and then you can just import the module here and then you can use the functions because in option in in options api all the context all the method should be inside a method property so you cannot use the normal function raw function as it is inside your template but now with the help of composition api you can just call the raw uh, functions and then it would work like a charm so that's where option api and composition api differ we'll make more video about composition api and we'll use some real world example uh, to demonstrate the benefit of composition api but for that you need to subscribe the channel and also leave a comment saying yeah you like the video if you didn't then there is a dislike button you can click that and then also let me know about why you didn't like the video i am jahid signing off i'll meet you in the next video Till then, stay blessed, stay happy.